the Chef Money Team, and it's the Real Me. It's the Real Me TV, and I'm here with Chef Money Team. Money Team, what's up? Hey, hey. So we about to get straight into it. What's a quick backstory on Chef Money Team? Like, where you from, what you do, I don't know who now. So, I'm a chef or whatever. I'm a self-taught chef, and I'm from D.C. And how long you been cooking? I've been cooking all my life or whatever. But I really started taking awesomeness serious in 2020. And awesomeness, that's like the name of your brand? Yeah, that's my brand, awesomeness. And yeah. the Instagram is There Goes Awesomeness. Yeah, and how you come up with that? Um, for real, for real, it's weird because since 2018, I was just using awesomeness on email. So it would be like, I mean, I'll be using awesome. So it was like, awesome Kia, at blah, blah, blah. So... I just kept that name going, and then for real, for real, my food is awesome. So I'm like, yeah, let me just keep that name going. So you just now, how long have you been cooking? I said, like, seriously, since 2018? Since 2020, but, you know, I got the, the idea in 2018. And how do you think the people took a liking to it? For real, for real, the first day I opened, I just made an Instagram post. It was like, guess what, y'all? I'm about to start cooking and selling plates. So my first day, I sold out. So once I sold out, I'm like, oh yeah, this gonna be good. Like, let me just take it serious, make a menu, and you know, start a business. So I did it, and I've been doing it, you know, ever since. And you sold out with how many plates? Um, I would say I probably sold like 20 plates that day. So you sold out your whole inventory that day. Yeah. And how was that feeling? Like, you know, I'm just now hopping in the game and I sold out. Was that motivation? I'm not going to lie. It was big motivation because, like I said, everybody takes food serious. Yeah. And people don't really trust people when it comes down to food. So me just, you know, having good promotion and catching people's attention and having different, you know, foods and flavors, people want to, I guess, tap in. They did. And what's your favorite dish you make? Like, your best dish? I would say my number personal one, best dish. my personal best dish is the lamb chop, you know. I guess like you could say I'm known for the lamb chop, right? But I love my lamb chop or whatever. Yeah. And what's the fan favorite? The fan favorite is the honey jerk and lemon pepper. But yeah. chef, the chef favorite is the um, lemon pepper sweet chili. So, 2020, you stop, you cooking, and fast forward 2023. How you feel like your business going now? How do you feel like you elevated? I would definitely say I elevated. I got more, you know, I got more known. I was doing a little promotion with, you know, DMV people or whatever. And I would say like, when I will stop, when I stop, where well, I'll take like a little break or something, people will be missing me. So once you get that feeling, you're like, all right, like people really, they really fuck with your food. Like they really fuck with your brand. So that's another motivation. Like it make you want to keep on going. Cause you know, People always gonna be there, you know, supporting you or whatever, speaking, no matter what happens. Speaking of promotion and stuff, what's the family and friend support? I would say the family support is is cool, and the friend support is cool too. So do they do they like tap in for real or not? Sometimes give or take. Yeah, they tap in. Yeah. Do they expect discounts? Do they expect um, extra? Do I would, you give extra to the family. You got family price or friend price, or it's like. Nah, fuck that. I need um, mines. I said it's not. I need mines, but you know my price is my price. But if I know this, you you know if I know this, you keep on you know supporting me, blah blah blah. I'm definitely going you know return the favor. And you want to look out sometimes. Yeah, so I do have customers you know like that where they tap in and they're consistent, and I don't have deals for them or I you know sometimes I have trivia's on my page too, so it'll give you a chance to win. Free food, if so you never try me giveaways out. Giveaways and stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely do giveaways. But other than that, your price, your price, and you standing on business. Yeah, my up. price, my price, my price. Yeah, okay, okay. You ever got any bad comments on your food? I would say... Like the look, the taste, anybody ever said, man, that shit don't look good, or that shit nasty. Nah, I, I wouldn't say that. And I'm not just slicing it, because, you know, it's me talking, because I'm the, I'm the cook. But I would say, overall, I get all good comments. All good feedback. Everybody, you know, fucking every time they try, they like, oh, I never had this before. It was so good. I said, I always get a lot of good feedback. Yeah, that's alright. So, what's your overall goal? Like, with making food? Like, you want a food truck? You want a restaurant? So, I thought about the food truck, but I did my research, and it's a more of a hassle. So, my goal is to be stationed. So, I do have a plan where I'm gonna have an open kitchen 
certain days, like two to three days on my um, food schedule, I'm gonna have open kitchen where, you know, individuals can come out, check me out. Not just my Instagram fans, you know, not fans, my Instagram customers. Yeah, no, it's cool. But you Plus know, like, other people can check my brand out. So I was planning on doing, doing that. And that's gonna give me a feel for my real restaurant or whatever. And you know, I just wanna get a spot out here. So and I can go on them. Got like a time limit, like you're gonna have this by 2025, 2030. Actually, this year I, I plan on doing the open kitchen, so this will give me a feel for it. So, probably do this for the rest of the year, do the open kitchen, so it could really give me like a standard of how the business work, how the customers work, how do everything work in the business and restaurant aspects. So, next year I'll be prepared to really like open up my own spot. So, I would say 2024. Austin, that should be on the market for sure. So the whole, the rest of 2023, Chef Money Team on go mode. Like, no stopping, no breaks. All new flavors, all new everything. Chef, uh, Chef Money Team, DMV Chef. Top 5 Chefs. For real, for real, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know too many DMV Top Chefs. I never really tried too many DMV Top Chefs. The only DMV food I tried was Chef Penny. Yeah. And like that was some slight stuff. I would say it's kind of overrated. I'm not going to lie. It's a little overrated. And I, I get it because, you know, like, people going to hustle. They going to get their, you know, their followers up. They're going to be more known. But it's all about, I don't want to say too much, but, you know. Yeah. But he's the, only, he the only person I had in DMV like food. On top. So why you feel like it's overrated? I feel like it's overrated because the whole city, so he got the best man shop in the city. I feel like it's overrated because his name, you know, like everybody like Chef Penny, Chef Penny. So yeah. say if so like, it's just a cool thing to do, pretty much. Yeah, say Chef Penny. I, I feel as though like say if a restaurant open named Billy's or whatever, and that joint torch like it's a one, and people don't know too much about Billy's, and people are like, oh yeah, Chef Penny better than Billy's the whole time. Billy's better than Chef Penny because. His food, you know, his purse, his food better, whatever, whatever. Chef Henny just got the, I guess, you know, he's That's more popular. Name. Yeah. So the Chef Money team versus Chef Henny in the cook-off, Chef Money team winning. I, yeah, I believe I'll take that one home. You'll take that one home? I we got to set that up. So I think we should set that up. All right, we're going we to get in contact. What's your favorite restaurant then? You ain't got no favorite. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, I'm kind of a picky either, so I really don't have no favorite restaurant. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather cook my own food. You ever had to cook your own food? And mm -hmm. who taught you how to cook, though? I was, I'm self-taught, but my grandma and my dad and them, they know how to cook. So I always just to observe and be curious on how they did this. And I just, you know, tweak their recipes or try myself. So I'm really just really self-taught. As I got older, I learned more stuff with food. I learned more recipes. So I got stronger with my recipes and got stronger with my, you know, my chef skills. Okay, so on the Real Me TV, we do this on every episode. What's the real Chef Money team? You can tell me one word, you can tell me a whole sentence, but some everybody can agree with. A stranger can walk up to somebody, you know, and say, yeah, that's really her. Um, that's a good question. I was, so many people don't know me, but I would say the people that do know me, they will always say, you know, I'm real genuine, I'm cool. I be, you know, out the way, just trying to be focused and really trying to make it out, you know, the damn V area for real, for real. So I'm just really focused for real. So if a stranger meets somebody, you know, like a friend or a cousin, and they say, hey, is, is she real genuine? Is she cool? And they gonna all agree with that. Oh yeah, unless they, you know, hating or something or just <laughs> on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, appreciate you for coming, man. We out. <laughs>